Hi, Rick here from Mariva Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to cover the evolution of the Inspire Props, which has had various incarnations over the, over, over the months uh, since it came out in January, right through from A models right through to the D models. So, back in January when the Inspire first came out, they were originally equipped with a screw-on style prop. So, this is just a traditional type multi-rotor propeller where you have a, a left and right hand uh, thread, which means that when the motor is turning, the, uh, the prop is kept tight. And originally the Inspires had these. Unfortunately, there was a couple of cases where people, when putting the props on, they would spin their props down, but didn't make sure they went down all the way. Oops. Um, and didn't tighten them up and they had a couple of cases where the props actually flew off mid-flight. So what DJI did to uh, have a resolution to this is they came up with a sort of prop lock which clamped on over the top of the prop into these vents here. Wasn't an ideal solution, so later on on the B's and C models, like this one, uh, DJI came up with the quick release prop. Now this is different in that uh, there, although the thread is still there, it's not actually used. They have these uh, locking mechanisms and then you have the opposite end in there. Um, now, they're, they're set up so that you can't get the wrong props onto the wrong motors, although some people did manage to do that. The only downside with this sort of mechanism is that um, this is plastic, this is plastic. If you crash and break the prop, you should always replace or at least check the mechanism here uh, as if any of these tabs get damaged or broken, then again, the prop could come off mid-flight. The other problem that sometimes happened was people when fitting these, the two screws that hold them in were getting over tightened and then it was actually splitting across. So always good idea, keep these well maintained, check them and if you do crash and break the propeller, then certainly worth changing the hub. A uh, simple way that these worked was, is they just pushed on, just give that a wee twiddle and that pushes down, give it a wee turn and then the prop pops up and then it's locked into place so that prop can now not come off. Now moving on to the D models, now the quick release props were also on the D models but the new Inspire Pro which is what we have here also is a D model but these come with an all new mechanism um, so DJI have basically taken it uh, another step again. So it's a much beefier mechanism, if I just take that off you can see the mechanism there. Again, it's kind of done in a sort of quick release mechanism. So you have a shaped piece there, shaped piece in the back of the prop. Uh, they're marked in color. So you've got red and you've got white and that also matches the actual hub here. So to fit it on, you just simply push it in. You can't get it on wrong. You just push it down and then turn the lock. Now, if the prop's not on properly, the locks just won't turn. So there's no way you're gonna get that prop on there without having it securely uh, fastened. It's a much beefier affair as well. So if you did break the prop, it's unlikely you break the hub. It's also gonna be much easier to check for any damage. Um, and as it's a handed prop, if I just take that off, I'm just gonna take the prop from the other side. So we've now got the silver one. Uh, it just won't go on. It's simple. There's no chance of that going on the wrong prop at all. You just just will not fasten on. Have to have the correct prop going on to the correct place. Um, with the older quick release props, in some cases you could actually push the wrong prop onto the mechanism um, and unwittingly uh, not notice that it, ha it was actually the wrong prop and it kind of locked in but not very well. Although what you tended to find was as soon as you spin the motors up, the prop just popped off anyway. Uh, but this is the latest cam type prop. Um, now, uh, this will be available as a separate part and is retrofitable on all Aspire versions going right back from A, B, C and D of the quick release type. So this will soon be available and this will be able to be transferred onto there. So the prop itself is exactly the same. Uh, they've not changed it at all. It's the same pitch. It feels exactly the same sort of stiffness as well. So they've not made any changes there because um, the motors on the new Inspire Pro um, rumoured are slightly different, slightly lower KV, uh, but not to the extent they've actually changed the prop. So hope you find this video uh, useful on uh, the new um, quick release type props on the new Inspire Pro. Thanks very much. Bye.